Hi everybody, this is Devin here at Predatory Plants. I wanted to do a video checking in on our Grex Nepenthes Dream of Victory, which is Nepenthes Densiflora by Spectabilis Giant by Nepenthes Ventricosa Red. I know we covered this Grex fairly recently in a video a few months ago, but since then we've up-potted them to 5-inch pots and they've put on a lot of growth during the summer. And uh, the pitchers have started to get some real mature characteristics. So if you haven't yet, go check out that earlier video because you can kind of see how initial promise in a young immature plant uh, starts to develop as the plant matures and you can sort of see hints of where they're going to go. Uh, if you look at them overall, they've gotten quite large. They've got wingspans of about uh, 12 to 16 inches. So they're pretty, uh, they're pretty tall. And some of them, the internodal distance, has uh, started to expand, and so they're getting into a vining stage. We don't know if they'll properly vine, because Nepenthes ventricosa doesn't really vine, um, but Dream, our dense floor by Spectabilis Giant, certainly does. So we'll see how that goes in the next few months. Uh, let's go look at the individual clones. This one is Dream, uh, this one is Clone E, and uh, frankly, this is kind of the ugly duckling of the set. Uh, it's still a perfectly good plant, there's nothing wrong with it, but just compared to its siblings, it doesn't really stand out. It's got a dark pitcher body. The peristome is also dark. There's faint striping, but it doesn't really come through. Um, it has a high neck. It's sort of, uh, it's the only one that really has that. So it's kind of like a singalana looking almost, but kind of fatter than a singalana. Like I said, fine plant, but just, uh, you know, in comparison, it doesn't really stand out. The point of the select clones isn't to get always just the absolute best, but to get a picture of what the, uh, the Grex can produce. Over here is clone D. And uh, Clone D, first of all, is the most vigorous plant that we have. It got the biggest, the fastest. It's, it's got a lot of mass to it. It has these big, wide leaves. And also has some of the best purple color on the, uh, on the leaves. I really like this one. It's a little bit understated. But um, as you can see, it's got a much more well-developed peristome. So it's broader. The, uh, the teeth are, are more intense uh, and, uh, and taller. It's still dark, but it's got that nice octagon shape to the peristome that you sometimes get in uh, Independence Spectabilis. And so, so I like this one a lot. It's, uh, it's certainly just kind of better overall than Clone E. Um, here we've got Clone C, which hasn't really popped off yet. All the other ones have sort of made the jump to making uh, sort of dramatic new pictures. This one is still kind of on the undifferentiated pitcher shape side of things. Uh, it's got really nice color though. It has this, these dark stripes that I like. And so I'm waiting to see. We've got a new pitcher forming over here. And uh, that one will probably sort of like make the jump to being something very impressive. But, but so far it's looking fine. Uh, this is the only one that, uh, that wasn't quite ready for this video. But we'll check in with that one later. Here's clone A which uh, is the one that got the most attention in the last video. It's got the unique uh, pitcher body color, this sort of pale pitcher body, um, and it's got nice striping that's getting even better, and the peristome is developing as well. Uh, this is kind of like Clone D in that sort of octagonal shape, although the, uh, the teeth aren't quite as pronounced. But uh, this one is still going really well, and uh, I'm really looking forward to the next pitcher because there's a pitcher forming right here, and uh, that one got started in the middle of summer. It's settled in after uh, repotting, and so hopefully this one will be very dramatic. But the reason that I really wanted to make this video was for Clone B, because Clone B has just gone crazy. It made a really, really nice picture. Um, so as you can see, this has got the kind of lightest striping. It's got the, uh, the sort of yellow, orange, red striping, um, and the the peristome development is getting really serious here. It's starting to seriously flare with some of that spectabilis. Um, and combined with the sort of lighter red of the pitcher body, this is a really, really nice looking plant that I got quite excited about. This hadn't been my favorite before, uh, but now I really like it. Um, this one also has this fun sort of red midrib uh, that's, that's very pronounced on the green leaves. And so that's also a nice, uh, nice uh, complement to the very exotic and dramatic pitcher. Um, besides those main ones, we did uh, set aside a clone F right here, um, which just isn't uh, as dramatic yet. It's, a, it's at a lower stage of, uh, of development. Here, let me get that um, old picture out of the way so you can look at it better. There we go. It's at a lower stage of development. This is where uh, the earlier plants, uh, this is where the um, clones A through E were uh, in the last video. And so you can see it, it hasn't really differentiated yet. We'll see what it does. But this one we selected because of the, uh, the extreme 
uh, dark color on the leaves, which it, it seems to have retained uh, to a certain extent. So that's Nepenthe's Dream of Victory. I really like this cross. Um, I'm hoping we can make it again because the winners really, really are, uh, are quite good. You know, right now my favorites are, uh, are basically uh, A through D, um, although number one, like I said, is probably here clone A. Uh, but I also really like Clone D, that dark one with the, uh, with the serious teeth to it. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments.